Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a review for the Hit The Bottle Neon Stamping Polishes along with their new Double Shot Large Stamper. The Stamper and a few of the polishes were sent to me for a review courtesy of Lantern and Wren and the rest of the polishes I purchased myself. I'll make sure to leave the Lantern and Wren shop link down below. Stick around until the end of the video for my final thoughts and without further ado, let's get on to the review. Starting off, we have the Double Shot Large Stamper that comes in a beautiful box. It also includes a scraper, which I somehow failed to include within this clip, so my apologies for that. Both ends of the stamper have protective caps, as it will keep your stamping heads safe at all times. Both stamping heads that come with the stamper are the exact same, and I find them to be nice and squishy. I'll be using the stamper straight out of the box without any priming. Just a quick tip before we get on to the testing phase, due to the neon nature of these polishes, they will dry down quicker in comparison to the other stamping polishes from the Hit The Bottle range. It is recommended to use a sticky base coat and I've gone ahead and applied one thin coat of a sticky base coat to all swatches off camera to save time. First up is High Voltage, which is a neon purple stamping polish. For best results, I'm using the same image for every swatch from the stamping plate, Feeling Shapely 04 by Lena Nail Art Supplies. Here we have High Voltage shown over top a white and black base for comparison and I think this transferred beautifully, it picked up beautifully with the stamper, I absolutely love it. And here we have a final shot paired with a top coat. Second up we have Lutonium, which is a neon blue stamping polish. Third up, we have Seize the Day, which is a bright aqua neon-esque stamping polish. Fourth up, we have Ectoplasm Green, which is a bright neon green stamping polish. Fifth up, we have Shazam Yellow, which is a bright neon yellow stamping polish. However, this may come off as a lime green in different light settings. Sixth up, we have Orange You Excited, and it's a bright neon orange stamping polish. And lastly, we have I Pink, Therefore I Am, which is a bright pink neon stamping polish. Here I have the swatches all lined up side by side for further comparison and I've got to say seriously guys, these stamping polishes and stamper rocked my world. I've been praying that neon stamping polishes this opaque and amazing would make its way into the nail polish community one way or another and I'm so, so glad that they finally have. Hit the Bottle has some of my most favorite stamping polishes and I own well over 40 different shades. I'm just blown away with how well these performed and how vivid they were 
it over top of a black base. Again, I'll make sure to leave the shop link for Lantern and Ren down below so you can grab yourself some awesome Hit The Bottle products. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts down below. In my next video, I'll be creating some fun nail art using some of these polishes and until next time, remember, creativity is at your fingertips. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!